I started playing because of my dad. And uh, he was playing since he was a kid. And, you know, just being around it makes you want to do it. I got my first guitar when I was 10. A little Ibanez piece of junk. And uh, it came, it was a jump start pack. It came with the amp and the cable and like some picks and some of the crap. And, uh, and, then I, and then like he gave me a bunch of charts and stuff, but I, didn't, I never took any lessons, especially not from him. And uh, so just, I learned by watching him play and I learned by listening to music that I liked and trying to play along with it. And, uh, and it's just flourished since then, I guess. For a while, you know, when I was a kid, when I was probably 12 or 13, I got, like I went, I got good. I mean, I got better than, than terrible. And then I sort of plateaued for a long time, and that was pretty discouraging. And so then I quit playing all together for probably a year and didn't touch the thing. Um, and then, I don't know, I just picked it up again and uh, and never put it down since. And, uh, you know, I learned a lot from listening to some of my favorites, like Jeff Beck or Warren Haynes or Derek Trucks or the Allman Brothers, um, Muddy Waters, B.B. King. But a guy, Johnny Lang, um, anything sort of blues driven. Um, and that's sort of where I, uh, sort of the school of, of playing that I came from. And, and what a lot of people don't know is that the blues has driven really every genre of music um, that's been popular since the 30s, 20s and 30s. Um, Rolling Stones and the Beatles are all playing blues driven songs and not a lot of people, not everybody realized that and um, so that's like the whole British invasion happened because of blues and uh, guys like like Ronnie Wood for the Rolling Stones he plays serious blues guitar um, and that's sort of where all that comes from and that's what I like to do that's why I do it